Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Japanese Prefectures in GeoGuessr here on YouTube. Uh, today we are in Guma Prefecture. Uh, so yeah, very excited. We are still in the Tokyo Kanto area. Uh, kind of covering some of the East Coast prefectures before we take a turn slightly to the west and cover some of those. Oh yeah, but let's just jump right in. As always, four minute timer with movement allowed. So here we go. Ooh, very nice. A nice river, very flat, no mountains. So immediately from what we can see, except for this small southeast corner, Guma is very, very mountainous, so we're probably already looking, since we can't even see anything, at something very uh, towards that southeast corner indeed. Uh, yeah, Guma, if you can't tell from the kanji name of the prefecture, is famous for horses. Uh, some of the best horses during the uh, samurai period, or what most people know as the samurai period, right? Senkoku Jidai, uh, Edo, Tokugawa kind of stuff. Uh, horses came from Guma. They were very famous. Okay, so we are on row 295. Very local, very small. We should be able to look somewhere in here and find it. I have to be careful we don't cross the border. Where is the border? Oh, we have a big corner way down into here, maybe. Let's see, 300s, 291, 293, 295. There we go. There is a 295 outside of Isekai. Uh, Isekai, Is Isesaki, probably. Isesaki is one of the largest cities in Guma Prefecture. The capital is uh, Maebashi with Taka, Takasaki uh, being the largest city in the prefecture. But as you can tell, they're all crammed into that corner down there. I'm looking for a distance sign or an intersection sign very hard turn almost the south from this road oh, I turned around and went the wrong way didn't I oh, no there we go finally got something okay two nine eight and two, we're on the 298 now uh, 298 with Ojima, Omama, and Fukaya. 295. Fukaya is in a different prefecture. And that's on the 14. 298. We must be really close to the border. There we are. 298 and the 14. We're heading sort of south. Yeah. Oh, there was a sharp turn. Yeah, we spawned like on this river, which is the border between two prefectures. We are right on the edge. Okay. Uh, we are on the river. And if we head south, we hit... We must start like right here. There's a toilet? Public toilet. No, there isn't. The road is going very southwest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might spawn somewhere in here. Because we are like right along the river. The river is to our south. Ah, we're over here. That's why. Because we go sort of northeast. Oh, we're on the other side. Of course we are. Ah, uh, we found the intersection though. Being right next to the river helps, and it's really weird that we had so many signs for a different prefecture. What prefecture is right next to us? Ah, oh, Saitama. Okay. Uh, and yeah, found this intersection. That was good. That sharp turn was a really nice, helpful marker to use to pinpoint our location. I did. Kind of run out of time, didn't get that right corner, but 
other than that, we got did pretty well. Again, very flat. Don't see a lot of mountains. Maybe in the distance. Ooh, Kusukawa Station Ogo. 333. Okay. So we do have this little finger stretches in here we have to be careful of. Not to forget to search down there. 333, though. 332. Probably crammed in here again somewhere. 332. Do we see Ogo? Or Asuwara Station? There's a 333. Ah, actually, we're not too far from a mountain. There's Kasukawa Station. The row we're on is not the 333, but it leads to it. Actually, if we go south, we hit the station. Three 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 is a branch off of it, like over here somewhere. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, we started north of that sign. Yeah, let's go north a bit to see. We're on some kind of residential roads. We can't find another named intersection that could help us out, or a store or something. There you can see uh, the prefecture phone number area code for Guma is 27. I don't believe I mentioned that earlier. Okay, another 333. Miyosawa to the north. So the 333 does some weird stuff, apparently. Aha! Uh -huh. I don't think we're by a river, though. Yes, you can figure out what road this is, but we haven't seen a sign for that road. Must not be a major one. Hmm. I don't think we're, we might not be that far. We found that. I mean, we're in, like, right here, but I don't see a river, so, and I don't see the Lawsons. There's the JA and a Bridgestone. Actually, we started south of that. Hmm, why did it go backwards? Ugh. Having played a lot of GeoGuessr, Japan can be one of the worst countries for this in terms of camera movement. Uh, they just don't seem to be blended very well at times. I have no idea where we are. We were on that road. Oh, so we found the three here. And then here, we were on the 333, but we also followed... That was weird. <laughs> because it was it turns like twice 90 degrees, we ran into an intersection with it, and again, and I was like, well, that must mean we're over... Ah, I see how the road numbering works now. That's a little weird. We were closer when we were over here to begin with, but I didn't see an auto body... It must have been the Suzuki auto body stuff, but I didn't really see anything. A restaurant. There's the weird intersection. Didn't look like that on the ground view. But oh well, 4-4. Four, four. That's still not too bad. One kilometer off. Looks like all of our locations are going to be pretty 
low. So we are in Yoshioka Town. Yoshioka Machi. We probably want to go into town. No, do we want to go into town? We might get a road name or something. Here we go. This looks promising. Oyabu. Lots of rivers too down in this valley, for sure. Get a little confusing. Lots of named intersections, which is nice, but don't really know where we are. Oh, there we go. Hachi ha Hachimangawa. Yoshioka Town. It's probably too small to find. In the river might be a major one, but I doubt it. Actually, we shouldn't spend time. We need a number. Road number, please. Another river. So lots of rivers clammed together, which isn't going to help us much at all. Here we go. Here's a sign. Ah, Maebashi is not too far away. So we're on the 25 looking for the 161. We're going south, south to Takasaki. Okay, so Takasaki is there. We're over here. Looking for, there's the 25, and we're near the 161. One six one. Great, they merge several times. I'm not going to get the river name, am I? Nope. There are lots of rivers, though. We were heading south the whole way, so let's back up a bit. Okay, let's. And we know there's some bridges. There's so many bridges though. Goo River. Probably down in here somewhere. If I could see the river name, which would be really nice, Google. Oh, there's a bridge name. Hmm. Neither of that seems to be right. Okay, let's go back to the start. Actually, we didn't start on that road. We went south to get onto it. You get south to get onto it a little bit. Maybe we are further down. Is there a 6 1? Do they cross twice? I don't think so. Two rivers close to each other. The only place I see that is there. Yeah, okay. Um, then we need a, a, some kind of marker. There's the rivers. Oyabu. Problem is none of these roads have names on them. Two seconds left. Yeah, a little bit. We were back in this corner back here. And these are the two bridges. I knew we were on the more northern one. That's just my slip up. But it's really difficult when none of these things are. Oh, it is named. Oh, yeah, well, there it is. But the intersection is named, not the road. Okay. So that's something to keep in mind. Look for those intersection names, not exactly for the road name further away. Gotcha, gotcha. There's also two rivers right here. So... We did find that intersection. Okay. Didn't figure out how far north we were. Very nice, very nice. It's 4-7, not bad, going in around 4. Ooh, this looks like a mountainous road, so this could be interesting because we are probably not in that bottom corner. Follow this city bus. See if we can't find uh, very beautiful fall colors. 
Japan is not just famous for sakura, cherry blossoms. They are also famous for their fall colors throughout the country. Lots of Asian tourists come. Uh, not this year, of course, because of COVID, but normally they do. So even if I don't find this location, it will be a joy just traveling through it to see all this. If we don't see anything... Okay, Radox usually gives us something, so let's go the other way. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> a sign not too far away. Uh, the 401. 406 401 there we are we're way up back in here maybe and we need to figure out where exactly along this road we are so you can tell immediately like we didn't have a very flat urban area very mountainous rural windy roads that means we're going to be away from that southeast corner up somewhere into the mountains but it doesn't narrow it down too much but if it helps you eliminate a corner it can be something and we do know where to look for road numbers right so that kind of combined together tend to be pretty beneficial as we move along what does this say oh I bet you have a city name but you're not Clear enough from the camera. This is a pretty long stint of nothing. Oh, there's a Google car. Very nice. You're actually on the 401. It's very windy. It's not lots of people. We're probably back up in here somewhere. Because we did turn and head slightly east again, and now we're going more... I guess we're going north on the road. turned around. Yes, we're headed north and it flattens out. So maybe we were in... I didn't see a tunnel though. I mean, we're somewhere here, but it's really hard for me. We haven't been crossing rivers. There's been no buildings. Couple switchbacks. Maybe we... We did follow it for a while. We were going like straight south. I didn't see a store on either end, unless we're on the one part of it. Oh, actually, we were really close. Whew. Very nicely done. About to say, we didn't reach anything to the south, we didn't reach anything to the north, and we went for about two minutes. So we should be pretty much in the middle of nowhere, and I was exactly right. We didn't quite reach the... Uh, hotel and souvenir store and we did not reach anything more well, if we would have seen that tunnel further to the south on the bus that would have been nice but we did not so okay four nine very good here we go round five we're still in waiting for our bad round of the game in case you were wondering uh we have not had it yet but maybe we won't we've been pretty lucky so far but again another mountainous road so north northwest part of the prefecture you're heading sort of north very rusty signs which doesn't bode well Into the beautiful mountains we go. 
looping all the way around so now we're almost going south so there's a big windy bend somewhere in the oop and we got off the road here we go what does this say hmm again two seven it's a village name but I don't know how to read that and I don't think we're gonna be able to find it high up in the mountains Unless it's a park or something. I get a feeling we're actually maybe here, but I don't know. So we found a major road. Let's see if we can't find a number. No, we did not start on it. Four minutes does not give us a lot of time. Very windy. Um, we can't. Go oh, I didn't even bother to check. That screwed me up. Well, I should have remembered that we couldn't go the other direction from the beginning because now I just wasted my time. Uh, yeah, I have no idea where we are. We're going to get like no points unless we're very lucky. Very windy road that leads to a main road that's also very windy. We're away from cities so much that we get a a village name, not an actual city name. No, no trains. Very windy mountains. Just seeing if I can see those kanji we had before. Actually, we might be over here. I can't remember if it was last round or this round. Where did when did I see something? I could have sworn I saw this stuff. But that might have been last round. I, I my brain is just like, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna hedge our bets. Well, there's our one bad round of the game. Ooh, 500 points. We actually did really good to put us... Actually, we were closer over here, maybe, but we were further. We are right outside of Mount Haruna. Yeah, we found a very small road. And I don't know if we would have seen a sign anywhere. Like, we could have even... Oh, we might have been able to make it down here. And then I've seen the 33, which we can see a little bit, but there's no indication. Oh, there's the village. You might have been able to see a sign for the 406, but that's a really rough, rough location because we could have really easily made it here. We can't go that direction. The, the camera starts here, and we actually went the wrong way, so that's almost as just... A sea that has nothing within four minutes of it, maybe? We might have been able to make it if we made the right turn, but we didn't. But... Very, very unlucky. There's our 500 points, which means we won't break 20,000. Of course we won't. Ah. One bad location, as always. Look at the game breakdown. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we had three locations, and that's uh, kind of lower plains area, the mountain back location that we found, and then this one was just, oh, god awful. Uh, yeah, 4944, 4749, 500. We only needed about a thousand points to get over 20, but we didn't do it. 
Well, that'll do it for me on this one, everyone. Thank you all for watching till the very end. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you want to see more of these videos, hit that like and subscribe button. It lets me know you're enjoying the content and uh, that and you also won't miss a video when I release them, uh, especially if you click that bell. Thank you all, and I'll see you next time. Take care.